Good morning. On the sixth Sunday of Easter, the readings are John fourteen fifteen to twenty one and Acts seventeen twenty two to thirty one. The beginning and ending of this particular passage in John's Gospel is about those who love Jesus and what that means. And in Acts 17, we find the Apostle Paul standing in front of the Areopagus in Athens and addressing the crowd, saying that the unknown God they had formerly worshipped was now being revealed to them. What's more, Paul says, he is not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being. Those two passages from John and Acts are both saying that in Jesus Christ we find our true place in life. That is all about relationship, about connection. As Jesus also says, he will not leave those who love him as orphans. He will ask the Father and send the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, to be with us forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. But we know him and all those who believe in Jesus, because the Spirit of Truth will abide in them and with them. It may all sound a bit mysterious still, but the relationship of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is based on love, a love which holds them together and us with them. Through faith we have become part of that relationship so that we can see God's purpose and live according to his will. And even if we don't understand the full measure of it, we can be sure of God's love for us in Christ Jesus because of what he has done for us. As Paul says, the judgment that was on us, God has taken away through Christ's obedience to the cross. His death and resurrection have set us free through faith, a marvellous gift that is truly ours and that grants us joy and peace. Jesus connects love with his commandments. In the context of what he said before and after this passage, it is clear how that works. Those who belong to him are those who listen to his word and keep it. That leads to faith and that again leads to relationship and vice versa. Maybe it helps to think of it as family and friendship. In a family, for example, all members belong to each other and care for one another. Sadly, sometimes family and other relationships break down or are not healthy. But when these relationships are functional, they offer protection and comfort. For example, when a child asks a parent for an egg, says Jesus, the parent won't give it a scorpion. That's what love and belonging in relationship does. When Jesus says, I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you, they who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. He is saying that our relationship with the risen Jesus will reflect the union of the Son with the Father, that there is connection and belonging. Whenever we feel sad, lonely, rejected, anxious, through circumstances or the way others have or have not behaved towards us, we can be sure to rely on the love of God in Jesus. His comfort is always available. As Jesus says, I will love them and reveal myself to them. And Paul adds that by raising him from the dead, God has given us assurance of his love and grace. The Holy Spirit, also called the Advocate, the Comforter or the Helper, enables us to believe that. Maybe it is a bit like after a bereavement, 
the tragedy and sadness are not taken away through the hugs and kindness of other people. The deceased does not come back. But other people being near can be helpful nevertheless, and we are given strength to cope, simply knowing that we are not alone. God has made sure that we don't need to be without comfort through the Holy Spirit, who gives us confidence to continue on our journey of faith. God, who is with us through his Son, has said so, and his words are trustworthy and true. His love will do it. Amen.